Our mission is to preserve Texas' wild quail hunting heritage for this and future generations. Why wild? If you've ever hunted pin raised quail, uh, I, I tell people it's like kissing your sister. There's better things. The Rolling Plains Quail Research Ranch is 4,700 acres of the best quail habitat in Texas, and there's a reason for that. Everything done here focuses on one species. The intrigue, the uh, challenge of quail hunting revolves around the dogs and the wing shooting skills with wild birds because they fly about 50% faster than what any pin raid quail would fly. Quail are the most imperiled game bird in Texas. Their survival means the survival of small towns like Roby and landowners like Buddy Baldridge. People come from all over the country and out of the country to come to this part of the world to, to hunt quail. Not only do they bring money for the lease, they stay in motels, they eat in restaurants, buy groceries, gasoline, the whole works. One of our biggest conservation challenges right now because all of our grassland songbirds are basically doing this, the same trajectory as the Bob White. So the Bob White acts as a barometer, as a canary of the prairie, and if we can get our Bob White populations to stabilize, we ought to be able to help those other species that are never hunted or never going to be. They're riding on the piggyback of the Bob White. In 2003, an idea was hatched to help save the species a place dedicated to study every factor that impacts quail abundance. About three months later, the Mellon Foundation came up with the funds to acquire the ranch, and so the rest is history. That history includes a lot of land management techniques. Aldo Leopold once said that the same tools that were used to destroy wildlife habitat, he named those as the ax, the plow, the cow, the fire, and the gun, could be used to restore game populations. We take that to heart here at the Rolling Plains Quail Research Ranch. The ranch acts as a demonstration site, showcasing water harvesting like these spreader dams. Some people call them speed bumps. They're just a way of diverting water from, that would have been lost to runoff off the road into a little area about the size of a swimming pool. But it also makes little bugging areas for, for insects. And quail, quail chicks especially, like to eat those little insects. The beautiful thing about this place is it's more about science and showing people. Uh, so we can try things that, uh, that might not you know, be effective for other ranchers to try, and we're not afraid to fail. If you can do it and think of it, you know, chances are we've either done it or are gonna do it. Studies have shown that wild quail held for several days prior to the release have better survival rates and are less likely to disperse. Well, we're taking birds from points further west and moving them back to points further east that used to have quail, but they don't have quail anymore. They have built it, but the birds didn't come. Some of the research that we've done is, for example, put GPS collars on coyotes. The coyotes are not that great a predator of Bob White's. In fact, less than 1% of their diet consists of quail. In the early 1990s, Dale established the Texas Brigades, inspiring teenagers to become wildlife ambassadors on behalf of everything from deer to bobwhite. It's not just a camp about quail. Behind the scenes, it's more of a leadership, teaching them about the biology, health of the rangeland, teaching them plants. What the heck is plant succession? What the heck is plant succession? Hello, hello, bobwhite brigade! Hello, hello. I forgot the other verses. And if folks can't come to the research ranch, Dell takes his message to them. Dr. Dale on quail, bringing you the latest news and views about all things quail in Texas. <laughs> with a podcast, Facebook, and a website, quailresearch.org. I'd like to think that 10 years from now, that indeed we served as the Alamo of quail conservation in West Texas. At the decline stopped here, we, we found remedies, we found tips that would allow other ranchers and landowners to maintain their quail populations. As a steward of this property, it's not my property, but I treat it like it is, I love it, and I'd spend every day of the rest of my life up here if I could.